Hi, first grade. Okay, we have been doing a lot of great writing over the last few days. Um, I've loved seeing what you've been doing in school and out of school. So today, we are going to work on writing stories using our five senses. So what are our five senses? Well, we smell with our nose, we touch with our fingers and hands, we hear with our ear, we see with our eyes, and we taste with our tongue. So we're going to read a book called Puddles today, and we're going to look at how the author might have used their senses in order to write his book. So let's take a peek at it. I, um, Mr. Hyatt is going to read us the story and um, I'm going to stop it periodically so that we can see um, and have a discussion on what the author is doing. And when we're all done with this, then you're gonna try your own. All right, let's take a peek. Hi there, first graders. Today I want to read you a story. It's called Puddles, and it's written by Jonathan London, and pictures are by G. Brian Karras. So let's get started. Puddles by Jonathan London, pictures by G. Brian Karras. All night the slash of rain and the flash of lightning and the Kaboom! So boys and girls, I'm just gonna stop right here. I know it's just the beginning of the story and we're just getting started, but there's already a couple of senses that I can see that our author, Mr. London, is already using. So he said the flash of lightning. Well, how do we, what sense do we use with that? Right, your eyes. Right? Because if we, if we, if there's a flash, we're going to see it, right? And then kaboom from the thunder. So, what sense do we use with the kaboom? You got it, boys and girls, your ears, right? And sometimes thunder is really loud, and sometimes it's not so loud because it's done far away. All right, let's keep reading. Of thunder rattling the house and all the windows. We cuddled between fright and glee and wanted to stop and never stop. In the morning it does, like a curtain rising on a shiny new day, a day of brightness and blue, a sky wiped clean of the last cloud. We walk outside to the sweet chatter of birds filling the trees and breathe deep the clear air. Watch out for puddles, mama hollers. Don't get wet. <laughs> All right, I love Mr. Hyatt's voices that he's using. So right now, the kids are walking out the door, right? So, um, and they, when they get outside, there's the sweet chatter of birds. So, sweet chatter. Again, we're using our hearing senses, right? Because we're hearing the birds' sweet chatter. And they're filling the trees. And we breathe in the deep air. So when we breathe, we're using our nose, right? or sometimes our mouth, it depends, but mostly when we do a deep breath in, we use our nose. Does air smell? Hmm, can we smell air? Do you know, sometimes I feel like I can smell the air because sometimes it's clear and crisp. Or when you get outside in your yard, right after someone mows the lawn, oh, that sweet smell of grass. 
And then mom wants them to watch out for puddles. So if we're watching out for puddles, again, we're using our eyes. And don't get wet, right? So if we're getting wet, we're going to feel something. All right, gosh, all of this great sense work. Let's keep reading. Needles glisten, glisten, the drip, drip, drip from the eaves and the leaves. Look, the sparkle of a million suns and a million drops. We follow baby rivers, trickling and snaking down ditches into fields. Puddles, big ones, little ones, long ones, skinny ones, pieces of sky on the ground. It's time to puddle jump. Splash, splash, splash. Boys and girls, that's a big one. Splash, splash, splash. Can you close your eyes? So now we're gonna use a little bit of our envisioning or visualizing strategies, right? We've been learning about those that this week. So if you close your eyes with me, right? And someone says, splash, 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 right? Can you hear the water as they're jumping in? Um, and you can sometimes feel the wetness, right? So that's definitely something that we uh, can use our senses for. Mud sucks at our boots. Slope, slope, slope. We kneel and watch worms squirm and stretch and leave tiny trails in the muck like sloppy writing. They're learning the ABCs of weather, of rain, and sun, and mud. And we slog down through wet grass toward the ponds and what lives there, celebrating all the new water and new life. At the pond, it's time for frogs to play and we want to play with them. Leap, frog, leap. Leap, frog, leap. Hop, flop, plop. Birds flap from the trees and we think the trees are applauding. We bow and then say, bye frogs, and turn toward home. I wonder if mama is going to be upset. Puddles. Big ones, little ones, long ones, skinny ones, pieces of sky on the ground. It's time to puddle jump again. We can hit every puddle from the pond to the meadow. Splash, splash, splash. Boys and girls, if we look at this picture, not only are the words using senses, but so is the picture. So if you look at these kids, right? Looks like they're having a pretty good time and they're laughing. So in my mind, I can hear them laughing, laughing. I'm picturing them laughing and they're reaching out for each other's hands. So they're almost touching, right? You could even say that they are touching. Um, they're jumping in the puddles. So they're, feeling the wetness, we're hearing the splash, we're seeing things all around us, right? We're not necessarily tasting, um, but we're pretty much using all of our senses in this one page. Wow, that's amazing. So we're gonna listen to Mr. Hyatt finish off the book. And I want you to be thinking about what senses they're, re they're using in the rest of this book. We slog through wet grass and suck mud with our boots. Slope, 
slope, slope. Skip beneath leaves and eaves. Drip, drip, drip. And drip in the doorway, shouting, we're home. You're wet, Mama howls. On a morning after rain, it's time to soak in a hot bath. Wiggle dry in a warm towel and get dressed and drink hot chocolate. Then run outside again. I wonder what they're going to do. To puddle jump. Splash, splash, splash. The end. All right, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed that read aloud called Puddles, written by Jonathan L London, pictures by G. Brian Karras. So long, friends. So, boys and girls, we're going to go back to what we were looking at. All right. So now what I want us to do next is um, we are going to look at our directions. Okay. So thank you, Mr. Hyatt, for reading that book for us. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So now, boys and girls, you are going to complete this next activity in your Seesaw account, okay? So I want you to listen on the next few slides so you're gonna hear and see the directions of what you're going to be doing. So this page will be in your Seesaw account and you will use one of the tools in there. You can either type in your words or you can write your words using the pen tool. All right, now, I don't really need you to write your name at the top because this activity is already in your own folder. So your teacher will know exactly who it's coming from. So boys and girls, we're gonna look at the first one. The first sense is seeing. So you can get up and walk around. Um, you can, um, go outside, you can go in another room, wherever you want. And everything that you put on here, you don't need to um, get it all from the same place. And it doesn't have to be about the same thing. All right, oh my, so sorry, a mosquito just crawled across my camera. I am sitting outside and he just landed on my camera and walk around. Did you see that? Crazy. Okay, virtual life. So, all right. So my first one, my first sense for seeing, I saw, I put that I see a red bird. So the I see is already there for you. And then I added a red bird. My next one is my sense of hearing. I hear a big truck. So boys and girls, I'm sitting outside on my deck and I am seeing and hearing and smelling and feeling all kinds of things. My next sense is smell. I smell a chocolate chip cookie. Next sense is touching. I feel a cool breeze. That one's a little made up because there's no cool breeze out here tonight. And my last one is taste, right? We taste with our tongue. I taste a salty chip. So now boys and girls, I have filled in and written something for each of my five senses. Now what you're gonna do next is you're gonna use one of your senses from up here and write a complete sentence. So if I wanna use my eye sense, then I would be writing about the red bird, okay? So the sense I picked was I taste a salty chip. Now I didn't take it boys and girls and just write I taste a salty chip. I would like to see and so would all of your teachers like to see a little bit more of a sentence with some details. So the sentence I wrote, I had chips in my lunch today 
and they were very salty. So I didn't necessarily say I taste a salty chip, but if you read my sentence, then you can see that I'm using my sense of salt. I'll do it, I'll do it. So boys and girls, <clears throat> when you write a complete sentence, please make sure that you are starting with a capital letter. You are using spaces between your words. You are using punctuation at the end to stop your sentence. I have used an exclamation point, but you can also use a period or a question mark. I've also sounded out all of my words and done the very best spelling that I can. All right, are you up for the challenge? I think you can all do it. All right, boys and girls, I hope you're having a great day and I can't wait to read your sentences. Bye.